KTM 1290 Super Duo car. V twin, 1301 cc's, 180 horsepower, 105 pound foot of torque, 189 kilograms. With all the mods that I've done on her, as she stands, it's 162 horsepower at the rear wheel, 96 pounds foot of torque, and around 180 kilograms. Now, the five things I love about this bike number one, is that engine. It's a bike dominated by an almighty torquey engine. It's just the torque on this thing, if you haven't tried it, you wouldn't believe it. It just rips your arms apart. It's, it's incredible. Number two, which is odd for a bike like this, and for me to include it, is actually comfort. It's really comfortable. And what's surprising for a naked Actually, it has good wind protection. I think it's the angle of that headlight. It, it, it is certainly much better than the S1000. It's not as tiring on, on long trips. Number three is handling, I can say. Even though it will take a lot of practice to modulate that throttle, especially in turns, and I will tell you that in the last thing I mentioned. Number four is stealthy. This actually, be or not, is a stealthy bike because not many people know what it is. I see them in town checking it out, especially in black where it doesn't shout 1290R and all that stuff, which I honestly prefer it in black than that orange. And I would have actually preferred for that frame to be black as well. Number five, you guessed it, sound. As it comes out of factory, not bad. It has that huge, humongous cat on it. The sound is okay. I've had a full Acra titanium system put on it, and it sounds very nice. At low revs, it has that deep rumble. At higher revs, you think it's a NASCAR coming. It's incredible sound. Now, the one dislike I have about it is actually the electronics. They are on, off. Is, this is the best that I can say. It has rain, it has street, it has sport, but I've never used the other two. But even in sport, it's too intrusive. And then you go switch it off and you've got to be one heck of a rider at the ideal conditions in order to control this bike. The, I think KTM didn't spend enough time developing the electronics for this thing. Especially, especially, they needed some sort of control of, over that engine braking. Now, don't get me wrong, I love engine braking. I, I ride on engine braking, but this thing has got tons of it, man. You go into a corner, and if you needed a slight adjustment of your speed, it just goes and breaks and, and sits the bike up and, and makes it a lot harder work. Um, they should have developed the electronics more on this bike. That's what I would say. Other than that, I love it. It's an incredible bike.